video okay and uh, if you see that this migration has is failed but actually it is not failed if you see that it is showing the item synced it is showing the consistency of the data score as well which was perfect so then why this is showing that this is failed the problem here is it is saying that the primary gmail forwarding address exception okay so now because we remember that we have to create a forwarding for mail routing which we have not done actually so that is the reason we have not when we have not created this so it is saying that it is uh, it did not happen the migration didn't happen but actually if you see when you log into these users one by one i am sure that you will see these emails working so let's try with user one now okay. open this in uh, browser's guest so well, let's log into office com sign into the user i'll have to reset the password also i don't know the password yet so let's reset this password for this user <coughs> user one reset password and reset password okay so we have the password now let's close this let's open where it is here With the password sign in let's skip for now and let's see i'm logging on this user for the first time so i will close this and let's see if i've got the emails here okay so all these emails are already migrated and we can test this from the source as well let's open an incognito window where i will log in with gmail.com and user one at password and I hope you guys have seen the unread emails there uh, which I was showing you earlier right so there was few unread emails here as well which I have made them read and here also it was the same case the last email was from user 5 and the last email is from user 5 as received so we can actually say that the migration is completed okay so let's validate the other user as well sign out let's close this go back here i don't know why i'm not seeing as another profile okay sorry Sign in and sign in. Let's see user two at tech such URIKEN dot com. 
same way we are logging in here as well once again with user 2 just to validate if everything is migrated okay so to add the rate shuriken.com shuriken.com and done let's reset the password here for user 2 Reset password, reset password, and good. So we have the password now. Let's copy this and log in here. Yep. And here, if you see, all the emails are in unread stage at the moment and this is user number two similar way all the email should be an unread stage in user two let's check that Okay, all the emails are in unread stage, which we have seen here as well. One of the email is from test email external, test email internal, test emails. Okay, and same goes here as well. Mandeep Patel, test email internal, test email external, and then few other emails. Now, see, we understand that this migration of the emails are completed. So let's do one thing. After this, what will be the steps that we should follow? Okay. Now on the Google platform, you can, you know, definitely unassign your user licenses, but you can actually go back and either you can stop this migration, delete this migration because this will be otherwise keep on showing the similar thing or you can select here you can delete that or if you do the resume migration after this once again so whatever the new email items are there in google platform because your mx records are still pointed to uh, google so then you will receive the further emails as well otherwise what i'll do is i'll stop this migration okay and which might take some time I refresh this but once this is stopped then you can delete this migration batch after this what you will do is you'll go back we understand that this migration is completed you'll go back you'll go to domains um let the domain come yeah so texture can is there it is showing as in completed setup so let's continue the setup okay so my domain is actually listed in cloudflare um you can manually note down all these records and replace the google okay the mx records and the spf records are the critical ones cname is also important if you go to advanced these are also required i mean if you are using some intune services mobile device management then these are required otherwise for normal email purpose these records are sufficient enough to you know fulfill your requirement in my case i'll let office 365 take care of my uh, records update because they have the direct integration with cloudflare where i just need to authenticate myself once and they do the record updates. So they are saying that we have found these records that they will be updating and they will be replacing these existing records already. So I'll just say authorize and all the MX records and TXC record of SPF value will be replaced with Microsoft 
and after this let's log in with i don't really need this now let's close this let's open an incognito window here so and then okay let's open user2 Pickle name. Chicken dot com and oops, very bad. I did not note the password, so I'll have to reset once again. And this I should have been completed now. Let's refresh this. <clears throat> Why it is too slow? Okay, let's check this later. Let me reset the password first. User two. Very slow, yeah. Okay, reset the password. Let's log in, and then we understand that the MX records are updated already. So, what we will do is Let's validate this here as well under settings and domains. Okay, so everything is showing healthy now. Let's go back to our incognito and then go to Outlook. What we are trying to do is we are sending a new email to external. Let's say Mandeep at the rate conceptworks.com test after migration. So test migration and let's send this email. Send items. Do I see an email? Good. I see one email. Let's come back to my Outlook. Okay, so I've received this email already. Here you guys can see test after migration. I've received this, the notification as well. Let's reply all. I've received. Okay. Thanks. And deep. And migration is completed send us let's go back lovely so email flow is active and working okay log out existing emails are there we have validated email flow is working for the users so we don't really see any problem so let's see if the migration batch is stopped after selecting this you can delete this migration batch and this is migrated and then you are good to use Office 365 from now onwards. Um, thank you so much for being with me for today's video. Anything else I can help you with, I'll be available in my comment sections. You can do comment um, for any additional help. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.